I wanted to go to Guatemala because I saw it as a new opportunity and a way to immerse myself in another culture and learn the language of Spanish um, more so than I knew and be able to practice with um, people who speak Spanish every day. And it was also a great volunteer opportunity um, and different than anything I've ever done before. The trip to Guatemala was to just go to Guatemala um, and to experience the culture and uh, you know see new things, definitely learn some Spanish. Um, and in that aspect, I think we got a lot out of it. Jackie Rogers has a nonprofit organization called Global Goods and a portion of the proceeds that they make go to Jardín de Amor and they help fund the things that they're doing and provide things for the kids. Uh, we helped collect donations and pack all the donations and bring the donations down um, and distribute them at the school, but a lot of the donations came from Jackie and um, she put a lot of work into collecting them and helping um, communicate, helping us communicate with the school. Jardín de Amor is a school with three classes in it. There are three classrooms, so there's one first grade classroom, one second grade classroom, and one third grade classroom. And um, there's sort of a little courtyard in the middle where the kids go for their recess. Um, there are about a hundred kids that attend the school in the morning, so first through third grade which is what we worked with um, for the four days that we were volunteering there. And it's very, it's a very loving place. All the kids are all very happy and the teachers really, really care about the kids and you can tell just by the way they run their classes and just the way they talk to the kids and treat the kids. It's definitely um, different than schools here. So a typical day at Jardín de Amor consisted of recess and um, just classes and sometimes the kids were given a meal in the morning um, just because they usually can't get that type of nutrition at home so the school tries to supplement um, the food that we would get there in the morning. Um, we would go to recess with the kids for about half an hour and then we would go into their classes and either help with what was what the teacher was already teaching or we would teach um, what we plan to teach. So Katie and I taught dental hygiene. Katie and Janelle did some awesome stuff with the um, dentistry and hygiene. And I thought that was really cool. And Adam, Owen, and Alex taught English. Like for the for the kids who weren't doing senior project, Adam and Jenny, they definitely got a lot out of it. I think Adam got to uh, you know really improve on Spanish, and I think he like got to liking it even more than he already does. And I think that's cool. And Jenny got to go see the kids who she already knew, and you know saw them playing the recorders. I got to see a group of students that I had taught the year before and see how they progressed because we taught a recorder class in 2016 and we brought recorders down that were donated by Fowler and Maynard High School students and we taught them a couple notes and a couple songs and this year we got to see them again and they had hired a real music teacher and they were playing new songs with new notes and learning all different things about music and it was a lot of fun to see. It wasn't all learning. We also got to play recess with all the kids and all that it was pretty fun. During recess you'd have like 30, 40 kids come out and play soccer on this tiny little concrete slab and they were using uh, not kickballs but like a smaller rubber ball not real soccer balls and they would make their own teams kind of make their own rules and um, they would enforce their own fouls and they uh, they set up the goals with like two broken pieces of concrete and 
and then they just had their fun. The most difficult part of the trip was moving on from one thing to another because so, we spent a number of days at the school and then we had to leave to do other things and it was really hard leaving the kids. So I think before I heard this trip was going to happen, Latin America or Central America was not somewhere I was like really wanting to go that much. If I had the opportunity, I would go back. I think I definitely know now that I want to travel um, a lot and definitely to Latin America and South America because I definitely know that I'd be able to kind of make my way through it. Um, so I'm, now I'm not limited to like certain parts of Europe and Australia and New Zealand. The biggest impact that this trip had on me was learning to look on the bright side of things because you see how little a lot of the kids at the school have and then you see what we have, yet they always seem to be so happy and optimistic. Um, so if I had to do the Guatemala trip over again, I think I would just make it a little bit longer, spend more time at Ardenia Um I think that was like very impactful interesting and I learned a lot. Um, and in terms of how this trip impacted my uh, my plans for the future, I'm actually kind of considering Latin American studies as a major in college in part because of Guatemala trip and Cuba trip. Um, and I definitely would like to become more fluent in Spanish. It's like very fun to try to communicate in another language where you're still learning. Um, it's Spanish is like I'm kind of at that point where it's like it's not so hard that it's like painful to communicate and it's not so easy that it's boring to communicate. It's like it's still kind of an adventure every time you open your mouth. <laughs> My favorite part about volunteering was seeing how the kids would react to just like the presence of other people who cared enough to be there and help them out, like they appreciated that. I think the one thing that you definitely saw there was that kids like to go to school. They really, really loved it. And I don't think you really see that in the United States as much. Um, I think because people kind of take it for granted. It's one thing that I definitely noticed was that they're a lot happier than American kids, which was not what I expected. My favorite part of volunteering was being able to see how happy the kids were. Um, they really didn't have a lot, but they were still just so, so happy. And it made me think about my life more and how fortunate we are. Um, but I really just loved being able to talk to the kids and having them, you know, just come over and hug you spontaneously or just having them want to have you there with them was just a really great feeling. The food is awesome.